This is a True Servant Rewind. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hi, I'm Bishop Jenkins, and I want to say welcome to True Servant family and those who are visiting with us today. It's a blessing to have you in our presence. I promise you, today is going to be a life-changing experience for you. Those who've come to visit us, I want you to know that it's our pleasure to have you with us today. Today is a very special day because it's a day that we remember back in 2000. 11 September is the month that we all should never forget the time in which our country was devastated by a terrorist act. But today we're going to talk a little bit more about that in our message today. And I'm asking you to prepare your hearts because what we have today is going to stimulate our hearts to be more in tune with what God is saying prophetically to our country. Again, we want to say welcome. Thank you so much. And today we got something very, very special. I have a trivia question for you. Today's trivia question is, what is the definition of manifestation? Is it A, the result of power in you? Is it B, result of initiation of something that already exists? Or is it C, the result of people working together? The answer coming up after the end of the promo. Last week, as you know, we began the series on manifestation and the topic was faith manifestation. Dealing with faith and how in a season that God will cause it to manifest for the benefit of our lives. Faith without works is dead. Faith in believing what God can do without our physical participation is dead. If you're looking for God to bless you with the house, you've got to first count up the cost. You have something to do as well as waiting on God to fulfill the promise through faith that he's going to give to you. Last week's sermon, we started the series, Faith Manifestation. Let's take a look back and see what God... Through faith. Faith in what? Faith is an application that has to be applied to something to determine its effectiveness. And wherever your faith is, that's where your hope lies. So if your faith is in your job, when you lose your job, guess where your hope goes? But if your faith is in God, if I lose my job, I still got my joy because the joy of the Lord is my strength. We walk by faith, faith in what? The word, and not by sight. Not what we're going through. We're trusting God that you're gonna get me through based on your word. Weeping may endure for a night, but you said joy is coming in the morning. If you enjoyed last week's message by Bishop E. Earl Jenkins, it's available on CD and DVD. Get your copy today. Stay tuned now for some upcoming announcements here at True Servant. Celebrate with True Servant, 15th pastoral and church anniversary. It's a black and white ball. For more information, visit the marketplace for pricing and detailed information. Our worship service time beginning at 11 a.m. Invite a friend. Invite your family. Come celebrate Jesus Christ right here at True Servant. Bishop Y. Today's question. How can I overcome the stronghold of fear in my life? Well, first of all, uh, as it relates to fear, God did not give us the spirit of fear, but he, he's given us power, given us love, that produces a sound mind. What does that mean? Uh, God so loved the world that he gave. He gave us his son Jesus, who represents love, who represents power, that creates a sound mind. Let this mind be in you that was also in Christ Jesus. It's important that as we deal with issues in our lives, that if fear comes upon us, which is only a natural feeling because we're natural people, and sometimes we react in that fear, but God has also given us a spirit that rests within who we are, that we are to respond with, and that is his spirit. Although we hear, although we feel the various things that come against our flesh, we yet have the spirit of God that's supposed to respond as opposed to reacting in our flesh, whereby although we feel what we feel, we do understand that it can be just for a season because the spirit of God tells us in his word that this too will pass. So in essence, what I'm saying to you today, nothing, nothing should cause you to react, whether it be children, whether it be anything that will cause fear in your life, but we need to rest in the power of God, knowing that we're more than conquerors over anything that we come in contact with. 
On behalf of Bishop E. Earl Jenkins and the church family, we welcome all new members, family, and friends. Welcome to True Servant Worship Service. Now back to Bishop E. Earl Jenkins. Thank you again for coming out today. Again, we want to remind you that uh, service begins at 11 o'clock. Don't be late. The Lord has blessed us with a new time, so we want to take advantage of that by allowing you to come and feel fresh by getting enough sleep so you can come and experience God on a whole nother level. And we also want to remind you that on last week, we asked every member that loves this church, loves God, and loves the mission of this house, that we pledge or we commit to a $25 seed offering on a monthly basis until the next year so the Lord can help us get through this uh, tremendous time in our history. The Lord has blessed us, but yet through the economy being the way it is, we need extra support to sustain what the Lord wants to do here in the house and in our community. And lastly, I remind you that this coming October 2nd, we'll be celebrating 15 years in ministry. Make sure you're there at our black and white ball. Please, man, please, sir, let's govern ourselves accordingly and let's turn this world upside down. God bless. Today's trivia question is, what is the definition of manifestation? Is it A, the result of power in you? Is it B, result of initiation of something that already exists? Or is it C, the result of people working together? And the answer is B. Congratulations for those who knew the definition of manifestation. See you next week. This has been a True Servant Rewind.